Hi, hope you can still remember strings when we were working with variables and data types, especially when we were working with non-primitive data types. So, strings are extremely important in programming. It's actually important for all programming languages and it's extremely important for the Java programming language. So it's important for you to understand how to convert primitive data types to strings and how to convert strings to other primitive data types. So let's work with the letter and then we'll go with the former. All right, so first of all, we need to convert uh, primitive data types to strings. So let's create a class. We're gonna call this class public class primitive, primitive to strings. Example one. And this is a very unrecommended class name. Uh, it's quite long so i don't recommend having class names like this but anyway we're just you know doing some experiments right so we're gonna have our main method public static void main string arcs as you can see the string is always very important it's actually needed in the main method so here we want to convert uh primitives to strings huh so assuming we have a byte a to be equal to 56, right? And how do we convert this to a string? We need to declare a string. Let's call this string s to be equal to string dot value of and then we pass in the value a. Now hope you can still remember methods from external classes let's hope you still remember that so what i want to explain to you pay very close attention and you will need the knowledge that you had when we were working with methods from other classes especially methods from external classes especially static methods as well so you can see string is a class i must have told you that before right all right so string is a class in case you didn't know and then the value of is a method of the class string so a is going to serve as an argument to the method value of which is inside the class string okay so that's just how to convert a byte into a string all right so let's put it out so i'm going to say system dot out dot print line and then we're going to say s so what do you expect to see of course 56 in form of a string Let's compile this and see if we're on the right track. So I'm going to go over to the command prompt, close the screen, compile. What's the name of the class? Forgot it. Um, primitive to string example one. So, Java, primitive to string example one. The Java, and it compiled. So, we're going to run the program. Java, primitive to strings example. And here we go. You can see it comes out as a, a string. How do we tell it was a string? Well, you can't really tell it was a string because we are in the command prompt. You can't actually really tell it is a string, and even if we aren't in the command prompt. But you know, as far as the code is concerned, we have converted a byte into a string, and we stored it successfully. We didn't have to do any type casting, as you may have observed, because um, converting primitives to strings does not require any type casting. As a matter of fact, if you try any typecasting, this this is surely gonna fail. So assuming we were trying to do that explicit explicit typecasting business by you know stating string here, for example, then passing in the variable here, for example, and then we're trying to do this. Let's see if that's gonna work anyway. So um, I try to comp compile uh, primitive to string example one Java, and uh, I get a, a a compilation error. So you can see it says incompatible types byte cannot be converted to string so when you are converting something like a primitive to a non-primitive like a string then you don't you don't need to do some explicit type casting you don't even need to do any type casting at all so all we, all we have here is called data conversion not type casting so let's call this data conversion so we just successfully converted a byte into a string. How about converting short and int and other data types into a string? It's as simple and straightforward. All right, let's take it out. 
So assuming we have a short, let's call this B to be equal to 300 and we wish to convert it to a string. Let's call this T. Uh, we'll simply do the same thing. We're going to say string dot value of and then we pass in the short B. As a matter of fact, we can do that to an int as well. So we can say int C is equals to 1200 and uh, we can declare a string U equal to string the value of then we pass in the int c so we can speed them out system without that print line let's make this program a little bit interactive so i'm going to say the value of the variable value of the variable t is t so i'm going to concatenate that with oops t all right then let's put out the value of the variable u so system out the print line the value of the variable u is concatenated with u all right so let's try and compile this program hopefully i don't have any errors so i'm going to clear the screen try to compile it compile then this is good news so i'm going to run the program here we go you can see the value of the variable t is 300 the value of the variable u is 1200 Pretty straightforward, huh? It's actually very pretty straightforward to convert primitives to strings. But how about converting strings to primitives? Alright, so I'm gonna stop there for this particular tutorial. In the next tutorial, we're gonna talk about converting strings to primitives. So don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out our website. I hope you found this informative and thanks for viewing.